Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite Alphabet Letter Q here back again with a brand new video on the channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, being fat is bad for you, all right? I mean, we all know that. I think most fat people know that. Just like smokers know that smoking is bad for their lungs, it pretty much works the same way. And if you're cool with being fat, being fat is okay. But then there are people like Realistic Recovery, who for some unexplained reason just cannot get the memo that being obese is bad for you. I'm telling you, people like this on TikTok will grasp at anything they can to uphold this notion that being fat is somehow not awful for your bone structure, that it does not give you type 2 diabetes, even though it does, and so on and so forth. Yes, you want to know the difference between us? I have claws and you don't. All right, uh, where to begin? How about the fact that calories in and calories out is almost as factual as gravity at this point? If you consume more calories than you burn, you gain weight. If you consume less calories than you eat, you lose weight. I mean, it worked for me and literally everyone else that has seen any kind of weight loss. I mean, if it didn't work that way, people that were starving wouldn't exactly look like skeletons, would they? Yeah, you can take that perceived class and shove it right up your ass. Do it! <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> this is what makes exercise fat phobic. If your motivation to go to the gym is solely cosmetic or to shrink your body to reduce the amount of body fat, I've got bad news for you supported by substantial scientific research. Body size does not determine health. So if you're not going to the gym for health, and you're not using any actual real measures for physical fitness beyond the scale, then it's not for health. It is because you are actively avoiding fatness, which is, yes. Fat phobic. <laughs> is it just me or is this woman just insufferable? Like listening to this woman tear down people for just trying to better themselves by acting like they're bigoted in some way because they want to be more attractive is just mind boggling. Like get a life and that's coming from me. The dude that complains about stuff on the internet and goes to the gym every so often. And now you may be asking, but okay, disprove her other point then. To which I will say one, People motivating themselves by seeing progress they've gotten so far on their journey is not wrong whatsoever. And two, where are your sources for all these scientifically backed claims of yours? Last time I checked, being fat can cause damage to your bone structure because of weight. If that isn't body size affecting health, then I don't know what is. And if you wonder if I hate you, I do. Wait, what? Did, excuse you? Did you just say that fitness influencers describing their journey to success is an eating disorder? As in if you go to the gym and ask someone for their workout routine because you want to look like them, you have an eating disorder? And by just them telling you, they gave you one? Because from what I can tell, that's what you just said. Also, did you just group every fitness influencer into people with eating disorders? Are you insane, lady? What's absolutely insane to me is that we have no trouble grasping that there are thin people who don't work out, they eat like shit, and they still live in a small body. So we understand that health doesn't equate to a body size when it comes to thin people, but for some reason, when we talk about fat people living healthy, balanced lifestyles, all of a sudden, they're the exception. Fat people can never be healthy. That's a fucking contradiction. Are you an idiot? No one has ever said that skinny people can't be unhealthy. And if they did, they're likely just as stupid as you. We've established that body size, aka weight, can cause bone structural damage along with a plethora of other things, right? And I'd say that just your bone structure is something that determines physical health at least a little bit. So yeah, being fat does have an impact on your physical health in the sense that your bones are weaker and more prone to breaking. Another thing it would have an effect on is mobility, which as most people know is a pretty damn important thing when it comes to physical health. So just based off of two out of the hundreds of factors that make being obese a bad thing for you, we have drastically decreased mobility, agility, and attractiveness, plus a decrease in bone density and a weaker bone structure overall. And that's ignoring the cancer risk, the risk of developing type 
2 diabetes, heart disease, blood clots, and so, so much more. Like, the delusion on display here is insane. And if there's any fat person watching this, know that getting better and more fit is not fat phobic whatsoever. If you want to feel better about yourself and look like a beast, no one is going to judge you. Everyone will welcome you with open arms and people like Realistic Recovery here can go fuck themselves. You go out there and sculpt your appearance. If you want to stay fat, however, I won't judge. It's your body after all. But what I am saying is that you shouldn't try to bring other people into that choice or convince others that being that way is good for you. If you want to stay fat, then do so, but don't lie to people about the consequences of doing so. Anyways, everybody, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, a like and a sub to the channel would be highly appreciated. And with all that being said, go away. Thank you.